When I first became a follower of our Lord Jesus, I was stationed aboard a Navy a helicopter aircraft carrier with a crew of about 600. I put my trust in my Lord Jesus uh, following reading the Bible a second time. Aboard the ship, I met three other men who really wanted to follow Christ without all the religious trappings. We would get together and apply God's word to our lives as what uh, a good Navy person was like who, who trusted and followed Jesus. But one of the side things that came out of all this was on board the ship was a sizable group of Satan worshipers. When a ship would go into a foreign port, uh, these men would go and find places where they could worship Satan. I'd like to say it's it just a fad or something, but no, there was demonic power. Uh, we grew because of the power and the authority of Jesus' name, us binding demons uh, and men being free and putting their trust in our Lord Jesus who once served Satan. So over the years, I have been very conscious when the demons are uh, in my way or affecting the uh, emotional atmosphere uh, in my own home, uh, I ensure that this is a place of shalom, which I'll touch on in the next video. Uh, when I've gone to preach in churches, I've gone into the bathrooms and just in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, I order you demons not to interfere with my time here. and. Uh, Prior to that, just standing there, I'd ask uh, the Holy Spirit, what demon am I up against that has such uh, influence in this church? And one church would be pride, another rebellion. But people would say there was a change in atmosphere during retreats at our retreat center. Uh, I don't see this as only uh, for me to do. My wife, Sue, when she feels uh, just uh, the tensions and the discord and the chaos created when there's demonic presence trying to interfere, uh, she too uh, orders the demons away while she's there taking authority in the name of our Lord Jesus. I share this because within Christendom, I've met so few men aware of the demonic forces arrayed against them, arrayed against their wives and children. And they've just allowed it to go on, just thinking this was just uh, the way people are, not seeing the demons playing them, uh, speaking into their mind, will, and emotions, sounding just like the voice in their mind, uh, especially with wives, enticing them to have negative thoughts about themselves and entertaining them. And uh, the man's not protecting his wife from these demonic forces. So I encourage you to Start using what Jesus uh, gave you in the authority of his name and realize there's demonic forces. And every time you or your family start making steps towards becoming more Christ-like or serving him, expect the opposition that the demons will give you. If you're not being opposed at all, I would question whether you really belong to our Lord Jesus. There's no middle ground in this. You're either uh, under the domination, influence, or control of uh, demonic forces, or you're being ruled through your spirit by the Holy Spirit. And uh, that type of life is evidenced by what you do, especially in the battle for the souls of mankind.